that's my breakfast. Fish heat uh, in the oven in a big bowl. Roasted onions, um, green curry, and corn, corn, and marrow or kamu kamu marrow. So that's what we're having for breakfast. And there's some of the fish here, there, getting tomorrow's the corn. And I've got to boil those leaves up for sleeping medicine. Okay, and the kennels are in here. All the kennels. I got some more yesterday. That's what's left of the kennels. Down there. Okay, and the marrow there. That's the come come on marrow. And that's about all. Lots of water there, there, and lots of water under here. See, I did it from the swimming pool. The filtered water. I've got lots of filtered water, and that keeps me going. What else have I got? That's all, some stuff in here. Bacon, and bacon in there. Mints over there. That's me, really. And then back to work over here. I'm just going to have my breakfast. Demolishing the fish there. I love that bit. That's the best bit. The brains are in there. In the fish head, you suck it out. Okay, so the fish head was filled most of this bowl up. And there, that's, I bought this big bowl uh, to put in the oven. Because it's nice cooking in the oven, it comes out really, really, really just, just right. See, it doesn't burn if you leave it about half an hour or an hour. That's enough to cook it. So we're here, with, we are today. I'm going to get all these documents done, man. I'm taking too long. I'm taking too long. Look, they're just lying around. I better get on with it. But um, generally, I must say on this video that Waitangi Marae is not looking good. Waitangi Marae. I've known for years have been corrupted with the flag on the treaty grounds and the way they're running business for themselves. The corporate crown, Iwi Māori, are running business for themselves. <laughs> Own private investment interests. There, there it is there. That's what I'm doing. New Zealand Iwi Māori Crown Court in Fraud versus um, this thing's always jumping here all the time. This is what slows computers down when they put these things to update and it slows the computer down. Oh, it's a nuisance. Okay, that's gone. It always jumps up there, but they, they keep an eye on my site all the time. It's going real fast now, as you can see. Trump calls nation shithole in White House talks report. That's bad. That is really bad. That's the true colours. White. White. And it's all about money on the face. It's all about the money. That's all it is. That's all he went to America for. Money. Waitangi National Trust Crown probed in fraud by SFO. And so there it is. Look, that's the, that's the advertisement for the Waitangi Marae. Right there. Fraud and corruption inside that Marae. I've been telling you for a long, long time. Serious fraud office investigating Waitangi National Trust. There we go. And then you've got the um, NZ Investment, NZ Invest Trust. That one's right in the middle of all this corruption and fraud in there and Intuition New Zealand Limited. Those are all going, you're going to find they're going to fall like dominoes. There's an even Maori. There it is there. See? Look, look, that's not very good. That's not good. The trust, that trust, the, all the rest of the trust I'm saying is corrupted. Including Ngāti Whātua. 
there, see? Cook Street is uh, over here. We're going down here, Cook Street, and I'm going to seize it over here. They wanted to put a tunnel through from the Sky Tower over here and put some buildings up over the hotels opposite the Sky Tower so they can have Skyline building right in front of the tower as part of it. But I've gone and then jammed the whole lot up with this claim that Manukau's name is missing on their titles. And that's right, it is missing on their titles. Pakeha could make up less than 50% of Auckland's population in just over a decade. Yeah, well, they'll be running out of there. They'll be running out of there. There's, there's, there's the bad advertisement for that marae. This is where I opened up this Waitangi marae on the treaty grounds as a native magistrate court. Waitangi native magistrate court. All these carvings you see here and inside a great majority of them are from my own Uetaha chief at East Cape, North Island New Zealand, on our land blocks. The Marangairoa land blocks, the Tiki Tiki land blocks and the Haho land blocks right there and uh, also Matakawa land blocks. Um, that's, so this marae is mainly my own whakapapa in, there, in these carvings. That's all my own one or family down the east coast. I can talk for myself and others can talk for themselves. So I'm just saying for my own Uetaha Putikirua Kiwaiapu boundary area uh, of um, East Cape to uh, Rangitukia to um, um, Tikitiki to, to Poroporo and um, the north side of Mount Hikarangi. The Rokamura Range is running from there down to the back of uh, Whakaangiangi, where I'm, my home stead is, and across to um, Kopuponamu, up the back, across to um, um, Cape Runaway, and then Portaka, back to Salaway, Portaka to Midway, to um, um, Marakawa Point, to uh, Hicks Bay, to uh, Punuruku, to Te Araroa, to Horoeda, to East Cape, to um, Haha Blocks, to Rangitukia and back to Tiki Tiki. That's the Portugirua Kiwaipu boundary area, about 500 square miles, something like that. Okay, so this Ngāti Rehua defends Great Barrier Settlement. This is, this is Aotea. This is Aotea. It's called Aotea. Great Barrier and Aotea downtown Auckland, Aotea in the Kaipara Harbour in um, Shelley Beach, that's Aotea, and Aotea in Raglan, that's Aotea. All of that is Aotea and the Aotea connects to um, Moriori, Manikau. That's where all that lot come from. So this is my site, what I've been um, posting. Um, Trump's Bitcoin scam money with his fake pyramid gambling fiat US dollar scam. Thin air money just got busted. Bitcoin banking. This you see all this Bitcoin, they're shelling the money out like it's gone out of fashion. And somebody can just get a half a million dollars just out of thin air. This is all this thin air stuff going cryptocurrency. It's gonna get caught out. I'm 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 saying somebody just doesn't come up and just make that money out of thin air anybody that they they say go and join them now they're playing around with this money again this racket here's the racket here this this bastard all white faces look all white faces of cheating lying and there's that bitcoin again it's going to get wrapped with this pound note this green pound note over here it's going to wrap the whole bloody lot up with the king the king's Power note, right there. Okay? There. Hanover. Okay? Scotland, England, and Wales. Northern Ireland. Okay? That's what's going to go and skonk the whole lot of them. Because this is where all the fraud is, in this Bitcoin. I'm, t I'm telling you, this Bitcoin is a scam, fraud, thug, running, piracy. 
see, North Korea really is banned on cryptocurrency. See, they know, we, we know in the, in the Pacific that the white man is the most evil out with money. Is this New Zealand dollar. I don't always call another country a shithole. They're sitting, Donald Trump, you're sitting on native land. They're going to boot you off. It's, you're only occupying it. Lease land. They're going to terminate the lease, mate, with this pound note. Off you go. Off you go. Don't need shitholes like you telling us what to do. Now, us, us darky people. You've just gone through your head too much. And you can't just go and take countries like that by force with your crooked laws. Pirates. You're all pirates, and this is a pirate flag for pirates. The king gave us this flag to go and capture pirates, and that's what it's going to do. It's going to capture pirates with these deed titles here. Okay, and this book here. This book here. Okay, there. This is what you white men came to steal all our logs from these native trees, cut the bloody things up, and took it back to London. You, Trump, and Scotland. Up here. Up here, somewhere. Up here. You, you bastards, hopped on a ship, put a flag on it for the sea, then came out here and stole these trees. Off the people you call Maori. You for us did that. Maybe that's your tribe, Maori. It's an invention of you white people. Trump, it's an invention of you. This corrupted shit coming to pick everybody's resources off their native lands and here, in Hokianga, there's where they all landed. And they came and stole this lot. The whakapapa, from the chiefs, Kupe, Puhi, and Rahiri. They stole the whole bloody lot. Right? And flipped it around to themselves. And there's the Marae there. They went and duped that one too. They stole that too. And that's what I'm talking about. You're going to get all this pound note on your head. Right? One trillion pound note. There I am, there. Look, right on this pound note. We have the right to do that because that was given to us. A pound note was given to us. Now I'm going to use it to outdo this crypto corrupted bloody money. You poor white people, that shithole there, Richard Branson, all about money. Right? We're, going to, we're going to slam you up with this bloody pound note here. 970 million trillion trillion pound note right back to 1823 with this. This was 1823. They set up this. Okay? All this history in here of Moira Hopman and the families here. Right? I'm not going to show you all the fuck of others because it, it, it'll make you cry. All these things here. These are fuck of others. Right. It'll make you cry if I showed you all of that. So I'm just... <sighs> going to tell you, I'm going to make an effort today to put these books together for our 26th of January um, Native Magistrate Court hearing in Te Unuakamarae Native Magistrate Court in Epsom, New Zealand. So I'm going to put that together today. I'm going to, I went for a walk this morning and to get a bit of exercise because, man, I tell you what, this little bit, just this little bit on my stomach is enough to kill me. It just makes me short breath. Just, just with four to five kgs overweight. I'm uh, uh, 88 kgs, and I should be 83 kgs to be normal. Just that, I'm not that fat, but it's just enough to make the heart flutter. And that's what it tends to do sometimes, is it goes fast. Okay, so, right, now I'm saying this. All you Bitcoin people, each one of you playing around with those Bitcoins, you're going to get a trillion pounds on your head. You're going to get a trillion pounds on your head. All your thoughts, I'm calling you all thoughts, out of this slot, 970 million trillion trillion. I've got, I've got to make sure to give this back to all the people you screwed. 
on the native land with deep tunnels. Deep tunnels. Okay? Deep tunnels. And I'm going to put a deep tunnel right here in these deep tunnels, right over the top of these corrupted, fraud, New Zealand government deep tunnels that intend for Okay? And put that. None of something million things over this. This, 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 this belongs to the police, CIB. This bit of anchor packaging belongs, this exhibit A, belongs to the New Zealand police, CIB. This is what lost their case. And this is what I'm putting on each one of them thugs that captured me and arrested me. I'm going to put this flag on their head. It's the king's flag that got them on this fucking land in the first place. Here there's one of these on your head. Each one of them. 15,000 police. One of these each. Kid me not. One of these each. And your queen's going to have to pay for it. And the Rothschilds. And the US federal state. And Donald Trump. All his estates. You've got this on your head, Donald Trump. I can say what I like about you because... You ain't got no king's land, or king's constitution, or king's jurisdiction of admiralty, court martial law on you. Personally, your name, natural name, and your corporate names, and your corporate companies are getting that stuck on your head. And this stuck on your birth certificate as a bond on you. A bond on your head, Donald Trump is right there with me right here, talking it up. Okay, that's a contract on your head, a contract on your head, right? Law made the contract. When I put these documents together, and law will be a better contract when I get them apostolized in your white man's church, Canterbury. Stole our fucker Here. Stole this lot. Right? Stole the money house. the Rogan's wine was. Fucker papa. And made a lot of money out of it. So now, I'm going to take it right off here. And give it back to the common people of the kids. So this is what I want to do. I'm I better get on to this binding these books up because today is the 13th and I've got 13 days to do it. I'm not gonna, I'm just making notices to people, warning them that I've already defaulted them. All the names that I've got on my Facebook and YouTube, I've defaulted them on a contract they didn't answer. If you don't answer what I'm saying, I'm accusing you, Trump, and you're saying, that if anybody says anything that can be used against them, I'm saying this to you. I'm calling you a thug, a pirate, and a cheat. It's up to you to say you're not. You come on a video, YouTube, and say you're not. If you don't, you're getting this on your head. This is on YouTube. I'm saying this openly on YouTube. And this to you, Peter Paroni, Chairman of the Waitangi National Trust. You've been sidelined. You've been sidelined. What have you been doing all these years in that marae with my carvings on it? You and Tiwana Temple from the east coast on my land blocks. These are things that stole my land, the Temples. They're the ones that stole my land. My ancestral land and the goldsmiths. This is on your head, goldsmiths, on the Ha-Ha block, Victor Goldsmith, you fellows been giving me a hard time, trespass me on my land, Victor Wolfman, you trespass me, you bastard, trespass me on my land, running out of sea top, you've got this on your head, and this bounty on your head, all of you thugs on those land blocks, Portikirua, Kiwaipu, boundary area, of Uataha, chief, that you're buried, you lot of thug bastards, buried my ancestry, and change the names on the Marais. 
Rung om att jag tar in Marai. Visst är Marai en fjärde lov. Ni har puttat in i rukar med. Vi har puttat woman's name on it. But not a chief. The chief names go on Marai. Not woman. And our Tere Marai. But not our Tere Marai. It's a Marangairo Marai. It's its name for the Marangairo land blocks. To Tepito. Rapa Nui. To Moka Nui. On my land block. That's my Urupa way on top of the bloody hill. The higher than any other area in Portugalua, the Waipu area. Right? That's what I'm saying. You bastards, your time is up. Your lease is up. Your lease is up and you wear this bill. The whole bloody lot of you. Thugs that got in my way all these years. On those land blocks I wanted to do something on. Can't even put a bloody tractor on. And my family at the same time. They got on the road too. They went and sided with the bloody mongrels as well. And kicked me off my own land block. That's my own brother and sisters. I'm saying that openly on this video. That that's why I'm going away. I'm, I'm going to go in the sea. I'm going, I'm going to go and get all that land. And, and go and work all that land with this land. This is a land given play. The Union Jack is a sea flag, it's 200 miles out. That's what this government is running on. It's running on the ocean. It's still on the ocean. This is the land flag. The king gave this on dry land. Hmm? In Okiata. And blew the place up after that. Because when he had cut the flag down, he didn't want anything to do with this. And look at it now. Look at it. Everybody's loving it, living on it now. If you carried on living in the past, with fuck up a bunny thing, then that doesn't make money. To live from going buy things. <clears throat> anyway, out of all this, this is the culprit. These documents here. City of Edinburgh, right here. C City of Edinburgh, I'll say. City of Edinburgh. You see it? That's where these titles come from. Right? Memorandum of Agreement between J.R. Clendon, Master, Master of Edinburgh. So I'm a Master of Edinburgh. So, of Tiruwakato Wharehehe Master. Just what it says here. Memorandum of Agreement between J.R. Clendon, Master of the City of Edinburgh, as the one part, and Kiwi Kiwi and Pomari Itoi on the other part. Okay, so this is how they sold me. This is just how they saw the land. I'm just giving you an example of these documents that I've got to stick to old mixed up now. I've got them all mixed up, but I can know where they go. I can know where they go. So I'm sure to fix them up later. I was just going to show you the other one. I can't see it. And the paper is all over the place. That's my office. You shift them out, put it over there, and then put it over there, and put it over there. Shift them all around. This is the confederation here, with Mohi Manukau here. There's a picture of them there. Right? Machi Tarawa, Dawi Hungi, Richard Kake, uh, Mohi Manukau, and so forth. Somebody's bringing me up, so I better hang on, just wait. Let's see who's it. Oh, that's my friend. Gives me a big heart. Good morning. I um, really miss you so much. Hope you are here and beside me, my bed. Oh, getting a bit personal now. Better not tell you what I'm saying. That's my friend in the Philippines. Hi, um, Manesh. I've um, just been for a walk and I'm just going to get some work done soon. But uh, I'm just replying to you on Facebook. I've got the fan going flat out over there because it's really hot. It's really hot in here.
<clears throat> anyway, I'll finish this video off. And my fish is sitting over there waiting for me. She has a little bit of it. I can't eat all of that. I'll just put it in the fridge and have some later. No, it's actually not too much, but the heat was big. It filled the bowl up, most of it. And that's the way I live. Okay, and I, until I get better conditions and a bit more room, space, this is how I live. If I can live in a 40 foot container, because that's what I used to live in, 40 foot container, the last place on the land um, in Manukau City, Diversity Bay. I was blocking off the motorway uh, on the land, I occupied some council land, but then the police got their way in the end and removed me. Not this time, not this time. There's plenty of land in the city. So I'm going there to put these big turbines in and the big platforms. I'm getting ready to do that. And as soon as I get Cook Street, I'm, I'm going to seize Cook Street because I've got enough information here to whop the lot of you and put you in jail. The whole lot of you. People, thugs, who got in my road. 43 of you stopped me on Cook Street. 43. Police and staff in that Bangkok including the owners, James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree, Aaron Pascoe, the detective, CIB, police in Auckland Central, Tim Duffy, CIB, in the same place, and Natalie, the worst one of all, Natalie Flower Dean Brown. You bitch, you're going to get this bounty on your head, this trillion pound bounty on your head. Well, you've already got it on your head. You've already got this on your head. All of you, I'm saying. Those names, I might as well say the rest of them. Her, the two on the motorbikes, the two, and you're on the video, you're on YouTube. Everyone that's on YouTube in that office, everyone in that office, I've got all your names in the 43 people. I've got all your names that tampered with my contract and the British military, Navy. That's our partner, that legal partner, is the British Navy, Sir Philip Jones. That's our legal partner in place of the King. I'm in the place of the King and him is responsible to this flag and me. That's what I'm saying with these documents. I'm the executor of all these documents that I'm apostolizing in Britain for Britain partnership to recover all these debts of whoever I name on this video comes out of this. In the Waitangi Matarai and the Waitangi National Trust stole this. Stole this of us and stole this of us. They stole this off us. That. And that. The New South Wales Government and Iwi Maori Trustee CEOs. All of them right through this country. You get that. You got that? It's all here in these documents. I'm just saying, it's all in pieces now. And I'm going to stitch them together and apostolize. So, on that Cook Street, I'm going to explain why I'm seizing it. I'm seizing the land block because it's only an occupation lease title to the British Empire, kings. To the kings. I'm acting king. So, <clears throat> there's no king there acting at the moment. Ernest Augustus, King Ernest Augustus V is the reigning monarch 
of Britain, UK, Hanover, Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and the Commonwealth countries of the world. In other words, the original British Empire strikes again. And I'm here standing as the surrogate to the British Empire right here in this land, on dry land. This is a dry land flag. The British flags are in the sea, on floating on the water and the birth canal and the wharf birth death and marriage certificates all that crap that's going on in the corporate world okay all that law is up against this because you can't answer what I'm saying right here on this video I'm citing this video YouTube as evidence, my evidence against you people in this country, New Zealand, Pacific Islands and the world of the native land titles in the world has come out of this book. It's come out of this Whakapapa title of the Manukau, the Wainua and the Rogan and it's converted into this one big fat bill on your heads a debtor judgment instrument to seize all the titles back into the British Empire in Westminster. The Queen has left, she has left the battle scene and gone into the EU Parliament, Brussels, for her own financial investment interests. And I'm saying right here, she has no seal here in New Zealand. Prove me wrong, anybody who can say there is a seal here from the Queen and there is a seal here from Westminster. Well, the seals from Westminster is right here, put this way, straight into Westminster and Hanover, King of Hanover and its bloodlines connected to this one and connected to this one in a British title. Here, the Whakapapa, right here, is the original title from Britain, right through the world, the empire that I'm talking to, as its partner, legal partner. Okay, so those people, once more again, Cook Street had 43 people that got in my row with that. They got in my row and tampered with this contract. Tampered with that contract and tampered with this contract in the Hokianga. They tampered with this contract right here in Cook Street when I asked them, here's all the, here's all the photos of the ones that got in the road. I'm showing you. These people here, Barton Thompson, here, and this lot, Okay, I don't have to do it because it's already out there. Bailey's. And there's Mohi Manakao right there with me. And the lady from DTZ, DTNZ. Right? And this is the mongrel that sold the land at Diversity Lane in Papataitai. Down the end of Puhinui Road. And there's Cook Street, the Bailey's and Jamie Peters, right there, and Doug Ricard Bell, the biggest thugs out on the Gulf Harbour, okay, and Hornerbrook, Mark Hornerbrook, right, and Andrew McDonald, those two lawyers, and David and John Bailey, right there, Bailey's real estate, you're going to get this big pound note right on your head, bankrupt and Chris Hansen and 
Robert Andrell and Chris and Robert Muir, Robert Platt from the government, Lynch. And the, this is Cook Street. This, this is the title to Cook Street right here. Now, I'm going to answer my girlfriend. I've got that. Keep in touch with her. Rodriguez Duterte. Yes. That's two. 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 I love her very much. I'm talking about Menace Flores in Philippines. I'm going to see you, Rodriguez, do today. I'm going to come and see you. Too early. It's too rough. No. Good. You're tired. Talking, checking. I thought I don't check. Don't check. Because not, not, not good. It, it means her tired and makes me tired sometimes too when it's early in the morning for me. Uh, anyway, that's personalities aside. Back on this cock street. I'm doing these things because there's no one around me 
to make me think and do things. I have to do things myself and make my mind up on the way through. Oh, there's somebody else there now. Oh, no. Plastia Walker. He's alright, he's good. He's got a nice heart and he's very, uh, very, very uh, reliable and I can trust him. As soon as we get things going, they'll be well and truly set up with uh, a lot to do on the ranch. I'll put him straight in. <coughs> As um, security or someone to go and check up on title. Um, so, getting back to this course. I'll leave them aside for now. Um, getting back to the course. I just showed you those photos of these people. And in this book, in this book, this is uh, just to apostolize, these are all these books I put together. This is way back. This is way back in 2nd, 27th of October 2009, 10am to 3pm, to Tahi Tonu Marae Hawaii in Epson. I put this together. I had a meeting. Those people that came, if they can remember, they came to that meeting. Hui. And I know there were some of them wanted to be involved. They can continue to be involved. You know the ones I'm talking about. You came to that meeting, that really, that that was a native court that I put together. And so we can pick up from there. I know your names. And so this was this was how I organized who is like that. It was well organized of who was doing what. Okay? Who was, who was doing what? Some of the names have changed now because their positions have moved um, from what it was because their minds, I'm talking about Alfred Mitchell, have gone against me with Georgia Job and their Maori government. You idiots, you don't realise that the Maori government is the government operating in Wellington. Everything they put together belongs to them. The patent of that word Maori and E belongs to them and the New South Wales of Australia. That's you, Alfred Mitchell. You're caught up in that debt bill, in the trillion pound debt bill. You're caught up in this. Alfred, you get this on your head and do your job. You, you've got this on your head for writing things about me. I can write about you, but you writing about me, then I'm the one talking to this king flag. Not you, not you. You fellas don't feature. You don't feature.
I will show you what I'm writing. Anyway, she's gone. Then I put some things, you see? You can sit and keep this. Okay, right. Back to the serious business. Ah. Uh, Hearts flying everywhere, but I take the time out with her. I, I have lots of time for her, and um, I just want to let those people in Philippines know that I've got something going for them when I get this lot sorted out here. I'll be over there. What's it doing now? Okay, so I'm just saying, in this, Alfred Mitchell was there on that day, but he's a different Alfred Mitchell now. He didn't have any of this in his brain. He didn't have anything of this in his brain, because it was what Mohi Manikau set up for Ngāti Whātua o Oraki and Ngāti Whātua o Kaiwa to put this title and screw the Manikaus, the real Manikaus. See? If you're confused, that's your problem. Because you've grown up confused all the way through. You've grown up in a confused world, Alfred. Because it was your ancestors that sold his lands. It wasn't his to sell. The British said this. I've just done a double check. The British said you didn't have a license to sell the land from Australia. And that still stands today. So, <clears throat> I have an organised meeting here, Confederation of United Tribes of Aotearoa, Confederation, Confederation Tribes of the Umatilla Indian Reserve, the Reservation Model. I'm following the Reservation Model. One more. One more time. All right, yeah. Okay? Phew, man, it's really hot. I'm going to say air conditioning. Kuti Hiri. Now, Atua Ewa Aotea Limited Persons versus Named Persons listed in order of sequence. Schedule 1. Tribal Prosecutor John Wanawa. In house attorneys, contract attorneys, legal aid, tribal public defender. Constitutional lawyer. The court is now in procession. I'm running a court hearing. So I'm naming all the people involved, but I won't go through that because I'm just going to, that's for Buffett and Thompson for some properties. My daughter lost three properties, and it's in this, we had this meeting for that. Federation guilty as charged until proven innocent. Maori entity court judgment bill.
And I'm saying live case law. It's a complete victory for us, said Vancouver lawyer David Patterson, Saturday 30th of December 1997, had a similar case. Natives win on land rights. Court rules that oral history gives bans the constitutional claim in absence of treaties. Well, we have a treaty. That's fraud. That's where I'm getting to. But these people had no treaty in Vancouver. So I've got this here, Harry, Harvey, I mean, Harvey, and um, Raymond Faithful. I've got this case here as a precedent case I went on. Case law. Okay? Case law. In this book. I've really done my homework here. I've really done my work here. And this is a set out of a court hearing, a model that I'm running on now. Against David Bailey, Douglas Ricard Bell, Robert Andrell, Robert Muir, and 42 others, the Native Sovereign Council Commission. I've written all these judgment approved by court for handing down subject to editorial corrections. Mr. Justice Wan. So I'm conducting a whole court hearing in here. I'll leave that for another day. But I'm saying this was signed by all the people who attended the Hoon on that day. The day was Tuesday the 27th of October 2009. That's when I put this together for Cook Street. Look, it's signed. Dated. Signed again. Okay, signed here. There. If you can recognize your signature, that's you. In that book. With the Confederation. Right here. Now, has anybody else got anything similar to this set up? No, I don't think so. Signed at Waitangi, to Timurai on the 20th of October 2009. Right there. Okay, this document here was signed at Te Timurai on the 28th of October 2009. That's when I started this off on that Cook Street property. Right till now. Eight years. Going on nine years. Okay? Premonitions of Marae Equity Civil Law Court of Aotearoa, the highest court in Aotearoa, New Zealand. There. Look, I've gone through a lot of trouble to put this like this. And I can see 